say, uh, Sandy, as I as I understand it, uh, there the project is in a position where there was going to be a resubmission to the Department of Energy on the rooting of the project that has not been done. And I one of the concerns that I've had about the project, having gone to public hearings on it and listened very carefully to the input of those in the North Country, um, is that. The way that the project was initially proposed would uh, be detrimental to a very strong economic asset we have there and something we all love near and dear, the natural beauty of that area. So things like burying the lines, I think, are very, very important issues that need to be addressed that haven't been addressed in the, proposed, the original proposal. And uh, as I understand it, it's pending and waiting for resubmission. Yes, I'm glad Steve was able to get you for the last question, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good diplomacy, Steve. Ten years ago. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, as um, Senator Ayoff points out, um, there will be, what I have been told by um, the Northern Pass folks is that there will be a resubmission once they have a definitive group. Um, and, you know, I think all of us in office have heard a lot of concerns from people who were along the original proposed routes about what the impact would be on the North Country. You know, what, what we've tried to do in my office is to make sure that the process is as transparent and open as possible so that people um, on both sides of this issue can see um, how decisions are being made, what the criteria is, um, there's going to be an environmental impact statement done um, once there is a final route proposed. And I think uh, our goal is to make sure that everybody who wants input into that process has the opportunity to have input and that there is a fair decision that's made. Okay. If we, if we